Before we started seeing Zoe struggled in school. I felt like I was dropping down levels and I was and I was like I can't think properly and it's I'm getting distracted so much. It was all this can't, I can't do it, mummy, it's too hard, I can't. A couple of years ago I was like, uh, I'm not actually quite sure what this is and that is. So. My oldest uh, son is André. He's nearly 13 years old and he's struggling with autism, OCD, Tourette and uh, some sleep nightmares. Fordi jeg kunne ikke rigtig falde i søvn, og så begyndte jeg at svede helt vildt. Og så kunne jeg ligge indtil klokken et eller to om natten. Og så sidst kom jeg ind i stuen eller i min mors seng, og jeg havde det stadigvæk dårligt. Og så var jeg så træt, meget træt ned til det. Hvad du er lidt var så værst. Vi kunne ikke gå til skole. Vi bare sad at home og lukkede hans hætte der ind til verden. Vi sad der der. Vi kunne ikke gå til liv. Anymore. If your child is struggling in school with reading, writing, focus and emotional control, you need to understand that there's an opportunity for you to stimulate your child's brain and actually do something about it. The assumption is that children that are struggling are stupid. In actual fact, it's often the opposite that's true. My son was so, so, so troubled. We had to have him on a leash when, when he was going outside our home. He would yell, he would scream, he would bite, he couldn't learn, he couldn't love, he couldn't have any physical contact with us. The cerebellum is responsible for the development of all of our skills, all the things we do automatically and effortlessly. So if something as simple as eye tracking never becomes automatic and effortless, it means that things like reading become very hard. And so all of the processing that should be automatic is filling the working memory of that child, which means that it's really hard work for them. And when they've worked out what they are trying to read, they've got nowhere to store it because that working memory is full of processing that should not and need not be there. I know all about being called into school meetings, talking to experts, getting told that there's no hope for my child, he'll never be able to learn. But my child is actually thriving in school. He's gotten over all of his problems. He do this program 10 or 15 minutes twice a, twice a day and he can do it on his own at, her, at his tablet. It's very easy, I think. She's just happier, um, confident, more confident, goes into school with the, I can get the results today, I can, I can do my spellings. It's basically gone from I've been not doing very well to I've gone really, really well now. She comes home going, I got them all right. The teachers are like saying, well, so you've progressed really well, you've con you're concentrated. So I think Zing's helped me massively and it's helped me progress with, uh, with work at school. There's a lot more calm and we have a lot more fun together and there's a lot more happiness in the house at efter ikke ret lang tid, så gik det væk. Og så var jeg ikke nær så træt, og med at overskud og alt sådan noget. Og jeg er blevet bedre i skolen. Fordi først så bliver jeg dårligere efter, at jeg ikke lavede sing op. Og så efter det, så er jeg blevet bedre i skolen. For the first time, I think. And it hurt me to say. But for the first time in his whole life, I really saw the shine in his eyes.